Hey guys, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design, coming at you with a WYSIWYG Web Builder 9 tutorial. And with, with today, what we want to talk about is the CMS, Content Management System Tools, offered by WYSIWYG Web Builder 9. So right now, we're looking at a theme that I have uh, been working on, a template. And uh, I haven't released it yet, I've been working on it for a little while. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to release it or not. Uh, if you're interested in it, let me know. I may, uh, I may send it to you. Uh, and what we're going to do is, uh, everything on here is just normal pages, and we're going to use the content management tools to create a blog for this website, for this template. So, the easiest thing to do when you're getting started with the content management system is to just lay everything out. Um, so, what we have right now is the page that uh, all of the blog articles are going to be loaded onto. Uh, it looks a little bit basic, but you have to understand that I'm using a master frame, so everything is loaded into this little box down here on the master frame. So looking at the articles page, what I have up here is where the title, this is where the title is loaded into, and this is simply using the uh, CMS element called label, I believe. Yes, CMS label. You drag that out, and then you can have uh, anything... Uh, displayed in there that's available here any of these variables so the number of these times that particular piece of content has been viewed which would be number of views uh, when you create content you'll have the opportunity to uh, write down an author name uh, whether it be you or a company name so you can have that display the date or any combination of them so uh, for this large up here this is going to be the title of the page so this will be the title of the article so I'm using the title tag for that this lower bar below is kind of like the meta information about that article. So it was created by this person on this date. And it has this many views. And this will make a little bit more sense once we uh, get everything loaded up into the database. So my advice is to, to get everything set up first. Uh, get everything set up and laid out the way you want it. This big red box here, I put in a, I put it in a big red uh, border so that we can see it. But this is the CMS view uh, right here, this element. And what that is, uh, the CMS view is where the content that you put in is actually going to be uh, displayed. So when we come into the properties, you see the very first thing you have. Uh, variable content are fixed. I just left it at variable when I set this up the first time. It seemed to work just fine. And then the uh, the overflow, you can have it be hidden so that uh, it's uh, if there's more than what will fit inside that box, it does not show up. Or scroll, um, you know, if there's more than what fits inside this box, then you, you'll have scroll bars, kind of like a kind of like an iframe. Um, both of those kind of suck. I wish it would just automatically resize. But it is what it is. After that, the next uh, options we have are for the MySQL database. You do have to set that up. That is required to use uh, the CMS stuff. Okay, uh, and we're going to set that up here in a minute using cPanel. Next options here are to style the thing. Um, so I have a transparent background, and like I said, I put that border on just so we can see it. So I'm actually going to take that border off now. We don't need that. I definitely don't want that on there. It's ugly. Okay. So, this is kind of what the theme looks like in a browser. I think this page is messed up. It is messed up. So, i got to fix the, uh, the buttons on that page. But, at any rate, uh, when we go to blog, you'll notice that we get a failed to connect the database. And that is because there is no information in there. We haven't, we haven't even made one yet. So, first thing you're going to do is go to your cPanel. If you're not using cPanel, uh, it depends on the web host you're using. If you're using, like, Yahoo, um, yeah, I'm not sure if, if you can set up a MySQL database or not. Uh, you find out from your web host um, if you're not using a, a control panel similar to this. Um, but for those who do recognize this and know how to set up a database, what we're going to do is go into... Databases, there's a little section down here. And I'm going to click on MySQL Database Wizard because this is going to help me set up a database and a user all in one. 
So the database, I'm gonna name it. I'm just gonna name it WWB to keep it easy. So now I have to assign a database user, and I'm gonna assign WWB as the username. Keep it the same, so I keep it straight. And we're gonna give it a password. So I'm just gonna literally give it a password for now. In case you're wondering what this little pop-up box is right here, I have a new little program I use called Dashlane. A little password manager, and it helps me uh, generate strong passwords automatically. It's, it's awesome. I love it. Um, it's 20 bucks a year for the premium. Uh, I, I suggest you get it. I love it. I use it all the time. I paid for it. Okay, so now we've created the database, and we've created a user for that database. Now we have to tell the database what that user is is, in, in, is not allowed to do. Um, so we're just going to assign all privileges to that user. And that's perfectly fine. And that's it. Everything's set up now. So now we can put all that information we just created into these fields. So we'll go back to uh, WYSIWYG 9. We'll go into the CMS view properties. And we're going to enter all this information. So if you're using MySQL uh, from your web host and you have just a, it's just a standard like web hosting plan like this, uh, your server is almost always going to be called localhost. Spelled out just like that. And what that tells it, tells it is that the server is the same as the server that the website's on, basically, is what it's, it's telling uh, the website there. Okay, the database name, it was Brian, H-O-L, underscore. WWB. Uh, you can choose a table prefix if you want. Uh, it's up to you. This field is completely optional, but once everything gets added into the database, um, you can have everything for for the for this particular CMS with a kind of like a prefix, like uh, you know CMS underscore. And then whatever the name of the table is, um, you don't need to worry about this, especially if you have a good web hosting plan, something with like unlimited databases. But usually you would do this if you had to uh, use one database for multiple websites or for multiple purposes. Um, so I'm not going to fill that in because that's really not that necessary. And then the username again is the same as uh, the database name. I did that on purpose so it was easy to remember. And the password I chose was password. And this is set up. So we're going to hit OK. And the next thing is I built a, an administration page. So this is really simple. All you do is just grab CMS admin and drag it out to be the size that you want. And that's it. And so with this, you also need to enter in that uh, information. So here's the database information. The database name, again, for me, it was Brian HOL. WWP password was password server is localhost table prefix we left blank and the username again is the same as the database name okay and so one other thing with this is that if you can choose a username and password to log into the admin thing. Um, so a lot of users, I'll just say admin for the username. Okay. Now I'm going to publish all of this. And I'm just going to publish the entire site so I know everything goes through. Okay. So I'm going to publish this and I will see you in a quick second. Alrighty. Don't you wish your internet was that fast? <laughs> just kidding. It would be nice though. Alrighty, so let's go and check it out now. And you can see here's the admin page. That's the last page I had open, so that's what's loading up. So let's go ahead and log into the admin and see if it works. Since the uh, admin actually showed up and we didn't get an error that said anything about uh, a database error, we know that we probably do have this set up accurately. So let me uh, just type in admin. Password was the password on there. We're going to log it in. And we're in. Look at that. So there's nothing here yet. We have to add a page. So we'll go ahead and click on New Page. You're going to name the page. So this would be, I think, where title comes in. So 
Oh, this is the blog post. And uh, I'm going to go grab some warm Ipsum real quick just to throw in here. I love this website. It's my favorite website. Alright, copy it and paste that in there. Boom, all done. That was a quick article, huh? Okay, external URL, extra data. I don't know what external URL is. I never really use that. Um, maybe that's so you can pick the, uh, the URL title. I'm not, uh, the URL. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. You'd have to play with it. Uh, extra data is a field that you can choose to show up over here uh, inside of a title. So you could extra data is right here so if you had something else you wanted to say uh, you could use it for a title you could use it for um, you know an author name or maybe an author URL or an email address or something like that uh, it's kinda like just a custom field basically uh, title uh, you can put in a description keywords is it visible or hidden? So basically, is it published or is it a draft? Owner is where uh, the author, quote unquote, would come in. And uh, you want to enable comments? I'm going to enable comments. I'll let comments be on. Uh, I'm not going to do the captcha. Moderation, eh, I'm not going to bother. But you could if you wanted to make it so that the comments don't appear until you approve them. Hit save, and that is it for that. Go back up, and so now we can see here's number one. It shows up. Is this the home page? You can let's go ahead and switch that so that it does show up as the home page or the beginning page, I guess, for the blog. So now, if we hit F5 and refresh this, the error goes away, and there's our blog article. And apparently, this article was titled too long, so I would have to rename that. But and then over here, where it says this is a blog post, this is the uh, the menu. You can add a menu in. TMS menu. So that, that's what this is right here. So that automatically showed up there. There's your comments. A little bit of refining to do here, but that's basically how you set it up and program it. And... I'm assuming there's going to be a flood of questions uh, on, on this once you guys get started on it. So uh, ask away. Use the comments down below or get a hold of me on my email. Go through my website. I have a new URL I'm using. I'm uh, going through brianholder.net. Um, I'm not sure why I switched. I just decided to switch. So I, I like my name better than BJ Holder. So uh, brianholder.net slash WWB. That's where I put all of these WYSIWYG articles, or I'm sorry, WYSIWYG uh, videos. <laughs> so uh, if you got any questions, hit me up on, on the website, leave a comment below, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Alrighty, thanks.